hadn't seen no rain since the other day. But look at it's backing up. Backing up. Uh, looked like on them trees it's actually dropping down again today. I don't know. We're going to see. But it backs up. It'll back up through here. First. Uh, yeah, it's backing up some. It's not a lot. You can see it's backed up in this little old space right here. But it hasn't crossed the road, so it's not. But actually, I can see some wet marks up on the trees a little bit. So I, I think it probably came up a little bit during the night. And I see a gator. A little gator. I sure do. Uh, I wish I could focus in on him. But he's right below that tree under. See that little speck? Right. Uh, where am I at? Right here. I see him. That's a little gator. like I can see his teeth probably about three foot long maybe so you can see his head sticking out right there that's a little gator I can see his tail under the water it's about I'm guessing he's probably three foot long maybe a little bit more Gator. There he is right there, see? Yeah, about three foot long, maybe. Woody, don't get off. The gator. He may have a mama somewhere out there.
just uh, and so I didn't see him until I pulled up here. He just dropped his head down. I saw him splash and go away. Oh, yeah. He's out there. Hey, guys. Uh, it's been a busy, busy day. Uh, lots going on. But I have an announcement to make to you, and it's not going to catch everybody. <laughs> a lot of you going to be angry, be upset. I had to make a decision on something that's been on my mind for a while. And it wasn't an easy decision. It wasn't an easy thing to do. Uh, but I did it, and I know I did the right thing, okay? I'm confident in my heart that I did the right thing. I rehomed Billy. Oh, Paw Paw, no. Yep, I did. Billy is not happy. I've watched Billy for the last three or four months stand at that fence and stare at the cows out there that are together. Well, why do you turn him loose? Let him out, folks, because those are his daughters. Plus, they'd be fighting, tearing everything up. The last two or three times, the last week or so, Billy's got out twice. Now, he didn't do any damage. It's okay. I didn't mind him getting out. I worry about him getting out because I end up down that road. Car hit him and kill everybody in the car, big as he was, or hurt himself. But I had to stand in offer for him for a couple of years. Uh, I know Billy needed a herd. He had granny, that's one cow. Uh, bulls need, breeding bulls, herd bulls need more than one cow. And I'm not going to go into all that, what all that goes on <laughs> with them, but they do, they need more than one. Uh, and he stands there to the fence, staring, sometimes almost all day long. Now, he, he was, he had plenty to eat. <laughs> he ate often, every day. Never went without a meal. In fact, uh, Lester and Jamie would come over to St. Square, they didn't feed him. Ellie would feed him. Bree would f f throw stuff to him. Jake would come by and throw stuff over to him. I fed him every day. But I, I, I saw he was miserable. He's, he's such a sweet bull, such a sweet natured bull. And that was part of the reason he was in demand. But the biggest reason is the calves he throws, the, the genetics behind him. And that was going to waste. And I was reminded by that a couple of times. Hey, you let the good bull just stand there and go to waste. What's wrong? Well, I loved him. I hate to see him go. Uh, but I finally had a long talk with Billy and I told him I was going to do something for him that I think he'd, he would enjoy and I did I gave him a herd a friend picked him up He's he's got a good herd now good pasture with a lot of wives that's what he wanted. I think a bull that's all of his life has had a herd. And then because I ended up keeping daughters, he couldn't have a herd no more. He had to take a back seat, so to speak. And it bothered him. Not to the point that he was angry at us. You know, he never tried to hurt nobody or get mad at us. Oh, he liked to get mad at Tex. <laughs> he wanted Texas people too. <laughs> but he's got a herd now. And he'll be well taken care of. And uh, whether I go visit him or not, I don't know if I could. I might get sad. I don't know. Uh, 
we'll see. But I know, I know he's got a good herd, and that's that's the main thing. Uh, and a good, a good, a good person to take care of him. A uh, very good guy, not abusive, not mean. So anyway, I wanted to tell y'all that. Uh, I think some of asked a couple times. Asked Jake, don't see Billy or didn't see Billy. Saw Granny. Granny's back here in the back. They also want Granny, but I don't know about letting old Granny go. She's been here, she's, well, Billy's been here all them years too, but Granny's, she's old. Granny don't have a, a lot of years left in her. I, I wouldn't doubt, you know, one morning just waking up and Granny not be with us no more. But she, she's still hanging on. I'm fixing to wean her calf and uh, the other little calf. I don't know if I'll be able to keep them. If I did, I'd have to AI them. No, well, I could, I could breed it, her, uh, Billy's daughter to Moses, but the other one I'd have to have artificially inseminated. Same way if I kept Browsy. So that's something to consider, think about. I just wanna let you know about Billy. And I, hope, I know I would be some upset. I'm upset, but I know what I did, I did for him, okay? And uh, sometimes you guys raised on farms know there's some sometimes decisions to be made that you don't like. They have to be made. And uh, someone said, well, put him over there at, on the sanctuary. There's nothing over there. There's no, no, no herd farm over there, you know? I can't just start moving stuff over on top of LE. Or Lester, you know, I mean, it wasn't to where he was at. He had a good pasture, a little pasture, nice, but he just didn't have a herd. That's it. Anyway, it's a decision I had to make, and I made it, so I hope you don't hold it against me forever. I know some will be upset, and I'm upset, I'm upset but that's what I had to do. All right, I'm gonna cut this off, sit here at Camp Patty. I got little girl here I got Woody and I got Kippy Kippy don't go by over that pond that little gator bite your toes off boys I love you guys you know someone's telling me that those are called primrose and I looked it up and, and I guess they that might be what they are they look just like them they make different color ones but listen these flowers have never been here I mean I I'm in this pasture every day of every year and I've never seen these flowers here before and all of a sudden this year they're here did they maybe they floated in you know one of the floods some seed or something floated in and landed right here but it's just kind of funny how they're so right here right out in front of Heidi's Heidi's tree <laughs> Heidi's camp I think it's so sweet I'm glad they landed here wherever they come from little girl it's time to go we're going home we're going home and i'm gonna leave you here and i'm gonna let the little gator come out and get you okay yeah he's gonna have he's gonna have goat soup yeah that's what he's gonna have we leave him by <laughs> come on uh, come on i'm serious i'm serious look at Arrogant little thing. So arrogant. Well, come on, let's go. Come on. She's right in front of me, so I can't get her. Come on. Come on, I'm serious. I'm ready to go. Woody and Bumpo and Kippy. Are ready to go home, baby. That gator's gonna get you. Yeah. I'm gonna take off. She'll chase me down. She's chasing me for a little way. She'll say, okay, I'm gonna ride. No. No, what is laying here? You come on the other side.
listen. No, that's not right what you're doing to me. Act like you got... So you're not tired yet. You get tired, you get on ride. Come on the other side. Woody's on this side. Come on. Thank you. About time. She's pretty smart. Let her go to the other side. She does. And Woody ain't going to tolerate it. Back over against the side here with, with Puffy. I'm gonna come get her. 